Hello there, Cancer. Welcome. I just want to, before I start, I just want to thank everyone that has subscribed in the past and are new subscribers. Because over the weekend, over the uh, new moon, I never do this, but I ask anyone that hasn't subscribed to consider subscribing so that I can reach more people that YouTube would um, promote me more so that we can get more. I want to help as many people as I can. So with your help and all the extra subscribers I received on uh, the last couple days. I am so, so, so grateful. I love you guys so much. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now to begin your love reading for February 2023. Let's see. Ooh, the high priestess. What a way to start. All right. And that is Cancer Virgo energy. So, your intuition is very strong at this time, so pay attention, okay? Because what you're going to bring in, oh, it's going to, things are going to happen very quickly for you, too. So what you think about, you're going to be bringing in, your intuition is going to be key. So if you think something, you're, if something doesn't feel right or something does feel right, pay attention to it because you're going to be right. And we have the general energy you're going to be celebrating, or maybe you're, you're going out a lot, having a good time. But we have the Three of Cups, something you're going to be celebrating here. Cancer energy, too, for the cherry. I don't think I said that. Wow. <laughs> okay, in the past, Page of Pentacles. Someone might, you might have got, recently got an offer. Could have been a business offer. Could be a love offer. Also could be something to do with a um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Let's see here. Oh, and a lucky horseshoe. A lucky horseshoe. Wow. Okay, so let me get... The page of pentacles here okay and now it's coming in the near future the magician wow okay yeah very strong manifesting energy here anything you want you can accomplish right now anything you desire you can almost it's energy is going so quick really be conscious of your thoughts because once you think it in a blink of an eye it could be here that's how strong you are okay now we have the King of Swords come in. Okay. This could be your energy. Or this could be someone coming towards you. This is someone that's very intelligent. Very practical. And um, likes to get to the, the truth of a matter here too. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's see. And we have here. Ooh. Take charge personality. We have Rhino. If this person's coming really quick into your life or you're charging ahead on something you believe, you're going to just bulldoze your way through here with the rhino. Okay, so let's see. King of Swords. Now, the outside influences, we have the Five of Wands. Okay, there might be some competition. You might have people trying to compete with you because you're doing so well. And your energy, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so for you, we have someone that's very loving, nurturing, and again, the intuition. Very strong with the Queen of Cups. And we have, ah, there might be some kind of transformation going on with you, or you might be changing things up. There might be a change coming in for you. We'll see what happens when we clarify here. Let's see, Queen of Cups. Okay, now, your hopes and fears, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, I think this is your wanting to come into this energy. Maybe you're trying to manifest more money or a new home or something to do around your home. You might be looking to um, also could be that you're trying to manifest in um, what we call a <laughs> Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Oh, we have the Eiffel Tower. Or maybe you want to go to French, France. Okay, I've been already doing a bunch of readings, so I can't speak anymore. Or it could be something to do with someone that speaks French or you speak French. Or maybe you even live in France, Paris. Maybe you're going there. And yeah, that could be hopes and dreams to go there too. Let me do a Queen of Pentacles. So if it, you know, it might re resonate with you, it might not. Okay, here's a Queen of Pentacles. Okay, now, possible outcome. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay. And we have the Moon. And the Two of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. You have options. You have choices here. Okay, so we might have someone coming in here. The Knight of Swords that, to speak their truth because maybe they hid things from you. They didn't They didn't express themselves. And, of course, it could be Pisces energy on the 
moon card. So we're, yeah, this person wants a relationship. They want a commitment. Knight of Swords come in hoping. Maybe they're finally going to express themselves. They're trying to decide how to do this with two of pentacles. Or maybe also come that you might have a couple people that you're going back and forth between this Knight of Swords and maybe someone else. Okay. Now let's start clarifying these cards for you guys. Let me move this down a little bit. Okay. So... Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the High Priestess here? Ooh, because we have the Five of Swords. Some kind of change coming in here with the Five. And it could be to do with some kind of conflict. Some kind of um, argument. Or someone trying to gossip, trying to start trouble. But you're the high priestess. You're you, you know what's going on. Okay. Now what about the chariot? Fast change, I would say too. Fast change coming in here. Okay, you're busy working here. Something to do with a partnership or working or, you know, this person. This is supposed to be working on a team, but it looks like is when I see a single person, I'm thinking you doing your part, and something's happening quick because you do a good job, or something happening about this. Um, the, something happening maybe fast in your work environment, or as far as a partner or a team. And we do have the three of cups here too. So what's that all about? The magician, yes, magician, magician. We have a magician sandwich here. Wow. And for me, the magician is Aries and Aquarius energy. But this is saying you're manifesting all this. You are just very powerful. So remember what to think about you bring about. Okay, now what about this page of pentacles? There's a celebration here. Something that's coming in. Okay. We have here the seven of wands. You are you are in the past here. You commanded something. This is is this one's commanding lightning here. And it has something to do with the page of pentacles. And there's also lucky here too, because we have the horseshoe. So something in the past, you're standing above the rest, on the mountain, commanding. <laughs> wow. Okay, and then what about the magician? Okay, we have the five of wands. There's this competition. Yeah, there might be also arguments coming in here too. But there's, I think there's competition because you're very capable of doing a lot. And maybe other people aren't too happy about it. Uh, what about this King of Swords? We have... Oh, look at this. We have the Three of Swords. This... As, I'm amazed at this card. Three Swords through this guy's back, right coming out the chest. And then on top of this, never mind that this he's got three swords in his back. you got a guy behind him with an axe ready to decapitate him. It's like, what the heck? So there's... um. Maybe either you're the King of Swords or this a King of Swords causes you pain, heartache, um, third party situation. But some that this King of Swords is coming in here. Maybe this King of Swords is coming in to fix things because of whatever happened here. Now I would say with these other energies around, I don't know if it's so much as someone cheated as as such I feel more like there might have been um a few people that um cause some kind of chaos here okay now what about this five of wands Ooh, someone's in their head here this outside there's there's people that are probably competing with you or for you but someone's in their head here with the eight of swords someone's stuck in their head about this conflict, about this um, competition. And what about the Queen of Cups? Seven of Cups. You have options. Look at this. Options, options. You have a lot of options, a lot of choices here. Okay. So I would say probably you have choices in love and you might have choices in business too. Okay. I think just everybody wants you. <laughs> what about this Queen of Pentacles? Five of Cups. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles, I feel now is probably someone that is missing you regrets what happened here it might have been maybe had something to do with this this three of swords but this is someone has a lot of regret a lot of remorse we have the 
five of horns, which are actually five of cups. Okay, what about this knight of swords? What's the knight of swords doing here? This is the six... Six is... Okay, this is the six of shields here. So maybe this person is trying to bring some balance in here. Because we do have this here, the two of pentacles. So yeah, they might be trying to bring a balance together. Okay, let's see here. What about the moon? So maybe this person didn't give them the path. They want to try to even things out with you. What about the moon card here? Ooh, the nine of swords. Ooh, someone is in their head about what happened or what didn't happen or or maybe hiding stuff from you. Someone is really in their head. They can't think. They, they're having a tough time here. Okay, what about this um two of pentacles? We have the hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, someone might be going within trying to find answers. And then we do have a victory here, though. There's a victory coming in for you. Six of um, wands here. You're getting recognized here or you're getting honored or something. You're going to be celebrating something, that's for sure. Okay, so now... See what else we have for you, Cancer. What else? What else? The judgment. Okay, something coming back around. Some kind of decision needs to be made here. And we have the Eight of Cups of whether or not to walk away, maybe. Or someone decided to walk away from something that was no longer serving them. Two Eight of Pentacles. Now we have two Eights here. So this could be something to do with work. Maybe you decide to leave a job and you, it wasn't fulfilling, so you're moving on to something else. Or you might be deciding to leave a re relationship to work on a relationship with someone else or even leave a relationship and just focus on your work. Or it could be someone leaving a relationship to come to you to work on a connection. Take it how it resonates. Let's see. We have here the magician again. Wow. Wow. Okay, you are definitely manifesting mode big time. Keep your thoughts positive because whatever you think about, you bring about. We create our own reality and you have the magician in every deck. So very strong energy here of manifesting. You have everything you need to manifest. Okay, and then we have here the nine of swords. Ooh. So I think whoever walks away from whoever, someone's going to be really stressing over that. Of someone leaving them and we have the three of cups but there's going to be a celebration and we have here the page of cups someone's coming in with love offer maybe apology a surprise to the queen of swords which i think is your energy here and there's going to be a shocking change the tower and we have the ten of wands an end to burdens so someone's coming in with a love offer i feel like you're the queen of swords and someone's coming in here and you got the king of queen of swords here too so there's a match yeah but someone's definitely coming in with a love offer to apology let's see what we have here for the page we have what is this oh a dragon wisdom courage um protection strength I think someone's trying to get the courage and the wisdom and strength to come to you um, to get get the nerve up here. Okay. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces could be anyone. The Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But I t I'm taking it as your energy. Let me get a charm on that. And we have, we have the Cat. Independence, Psychic, Balance. That's your energy. And with the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy. Sudden shocking change, but it's going to bring an end to your burden. So something's coming in here for the betterment of you. Let's see what, um, let's ask about a new love. I've been doing that with each one and see what happens here. Sometimes they don't want to tell me. So I don't know if I'll ever do that again at the end of the reading because I start getting high priestess and stuff and saying, shh, <laughs> don't need to know. <laughs> I don't want I don't want to anger anybody. <laughs> they won't give me any messages. Okay, let's see here. What about a new love. What is going on? Do they have a new love coming in? Okay, we have Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords there. Okay, so that's Aquarius Libra Gemini. Let's see what else we have here. 
Ooh, the Nine of Swords. Again, this is this energy of really worried about something here. And we have here, and the Ten. Yeah, someone, someone wants a commitment and they're worried about it and they're stuck in their head. So there is a new person coming in. It is a Knight of Swords. They're very stuck in their head, but they want to commit with you. They have a lot of love for you. Or they'll have, or they feel that way. There's, there will be love there. Um, gee, that's what sometimes it feels when you see, I get that that they already. Well, they could be a friend that is now coming out wanting to say they they love you. It could be someone ex, you know expressing themselves because this that's what we had here with this night a source. Someone did not open up, so it could be someone that you knew for a while, and now they're gonna and that would be a new love. Um, so let's see, Knight of Swords. Okay, let's see what the word is. Okay, what's the word on this night? So I should I clear? Okay, let me. I've been clarifying, so I'm gonna clarify this. Why is the knight of swords here? Why is the knight? I mean, sometimes I get in trouble. Let's see. Why is the knight of swords here? Five of wands, competition, battle. Maybe afraid of argument. Um. What about this nine of swords we have? Ooh, the death, ending, new beginning, transformation. This person might be afraid. I think it is a, a, a friendship that they're they're going for it. They're hoping to transform this from a friendship to um, more of a commitment. But they might be afraid that by coming out that they might lose your friendship. Is what I'm feeling here. Okay, they're really stuck in their head about it. What about this Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, moving away from something to something better. And they're trying to really balance themselves, trying to figure out how to do this with Two of Pentacles. Not sure how they about how they should do this. Okay. So, yeah, someone definitely might be moving to come towards you. Um leaving something leaving something that they ended too in order to, to make this work and then they're worried about whether or not you're going to accept this offer this love offer okay so let's see let's get um a word what's the word on the knight of swords let's see we have healing before always hmm Oh, I feel like this person feels like you're always healing for them. Before and always. It's always healing. To be with you, to be around you. What about this Knight of Swords over here? Hmm. We have Spying. Closure. Lover. Love. Okay, so this person's spying on you. Um, could be, you know, watching your social media or just trying to see what you're up to, asking friends or family about you. Um, there might be some kind of closure with a lover because they love you, or there could be some kind, maybe they're, there's, this is bringing closure to something. And, um, what about the page of cups? What's this? Where does... Where did this Knight of Pentacles come from? Oh, it must have fell off of here. Okay, you know what? Since it's there, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull something on this. Okay, it's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone could be coming towards you here. This could be some. Yeah, see, this is from these cards here. This could be someone that's very loyal, very faithful to you, or someone that will be very loyal and faithful to you. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I feel a very strong friendship that might someone wants more than a friendship with you. We have here the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, what about the Page of Cups? Memories. Excited. Expect. Cheater. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Take if it resonates. Someone has memories. They're excited and... I don't know. There might be a cheater involved here. What about this um, Queen of Swords? We have, I mean, they're supposed to be coming in with apology. I don't know. Player? Uh-oh. Likely committed. Okay, so maybe this person's already committed and they're coming towards you. 
That's why maybe they're cheating on someone else. Hmm. Okay, what about this Knight of Pentacles? Let's get right into this one. Committed. Honest. Forget. Okay, so someone committed, they're honest to forget. They want you to forget something, maybe. This is with this person over here, this new person, that I think is a friend that wants more. Okay, now what is this page of pentacles? Let's see. What's going on with this page of pentacles? We have love, power, money. Okay, so... There might have been a tower moment over money, but someone loves you. This is the past energy. Um, let me get a clarifier. Okay, the tower is Aries, Scorpio energy. Let's get a clarifier for the money we have. Oh, the house. There could have been something about money for a house. Or money from a house. Yeah, it could be money for a house. Okay, now what about... The King of Swords. Let's see. Sharing. Ooh, a tower. <laughs> Love. Okay. Someone's going to surprise you when they come in here about their love for you. They're going to share how much they love you. They're going to surprise you. Um, this is this King of Swords with the Three of Swords. So, yeah, they're coming in shocking you. Aries, Scorpio energy. What about this Queen of Pentacles? We have Sincere Money again. Wow. <laughs> soulmate. Okay, a Sincere Soulmate. And there's something money. Let's see. Let's get a clarifier on this money. We have... Ooh, a Magnet for money. So, either your Soulmate or you. Someone's a Magnet for money. Okay, now what about this Queen of Cups? Mature. Obsessed. Third party. Single. Okay, so there's someone that's mature. And they might be now single, but someone's obsessed. A third party might be obsessed. Okay, we'll take it if it makes sense. Now, am I going to have any place to put... The, oh, yeah, I could get so I could put the signs over here. Okay, let's see what signs you could be dealing with, Cancer. What are the signs? What are the signs? We have Virgo. Virgo? I think it could be a Virgo? <laughs> Aquarius. Let me just move these up a little more. Cancer. There you go. Pisces and Aquarius again. Wow, look at that. Look at these all doubles except for the... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Two two Virgos and two Aquarius. I don't know why I was saying all doubles. Okay, so this could be placements in your chart, placement of other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Virgo, Virgo, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, and Aquarius. Now we'll do the letters. 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last name and someone has a middle name and you know the middle name, get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, and future. Also your own initials. We have P M P N Look at that. The N wanted to jump before the P. If that makes sense to anybody. U I V K W R M. All right. So letters we have here today are P M N P U I V K W R M. Okay, now, let's see what names want to come up. Do 11 or more names. Maybe a little, let's just move these over a smidgen here so that I'll have some place to put the names to. I feel like they're all over. Okay, let's see. Okay, 
what are the names? What are the names I want to come up? Let's see. Norman, Sierra, Sierra, C I E R A. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right. Frederick, Jody, Amy, Vivian, V I V I A N. Yvette, Y V E T T E, Brandon. Ivy, Jamie, J A M I E, and Kelvin, K E L V I N. And wow, we got 11, exactly 11. Love it. Okay, guys. So those are the names. Now remember, these are general readings, they are not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments and I do reply. And if it does not resonate, check out your other placements. You always check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And, um, okay, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.